Hey friends, it's Miss Barry, and guess what? I got a new dress. How cool is this? It's based off of one of my favorite paintings by Vincent Van Gogh called Starry Night. I love it. I wish you guys were here to see it in person. Anyway, my favorite thing about the painting, the real painting, is that the colors mix and swirl together in the sky. You can see it up here real nice. And it inspired me for today's lesson. Today, we're going to be doing something really cool called shaving cream marbleization. Yes, it involves shaving cream, which is always fun. No, we will not be shaving. So, let's go get started. I can't wait to show you what to do. So first, you'll need a couple things. A dish, some shaving cream, some food coloring or paint, a ruler, and some paper. This is a card stock, but you can use regular paper too. The first step is to fill just a bottom layer of shaving cream on the bottom. Don't forget your toothpicks. I got a spatula to smooth it out. You're gonna want a nice smooth surface before adding any color. and it doesn't have to be perfect, just smooth enough. There we go. Then you'll add drops of color. You can do one color, two, three, four, as many as you like. And I'm just gonna put these spots all over the place. And then you're going to use a toothpick to swirl the colors together. You can go in different directions. You can make different patterns. If there's areas where you want to mix the colors, you can do that. You also can use different materials, too. You don't have to use a toothpick. You can use a popsicle stick. Um, you can use the end of a butter knife. It doesn't really matter. Even a stick from outside. Once it's swirled a design you like, you're going to take your paper, and this is a board that I'm going to use. Figure out where the pattern looks the coolest, and very gently, you're gonna push your paper down on top of it. You don't wanna push it all the way to the bottom of the pan, just enough so that it goes down into the shaving cream just a little bit. But don't push it all the way down. Then you're gonna grab the corner and carefully lift it up. Sometimes it gets a little stuck on that shaving cream. And you'll see there's shaving cream on there. Now this is where the magic happens. You're going to take that ruler and you're going to scrape away the shaving cream. And you can see the design transfer underneath. How cool is that? So you gently scrape away all your shaving cream and then we'll let this dry and that shaving cream will dry up completely. So if there's any extra on there, that's okay. But look at that. Amazing, right? Now the cool thing about this is that you can add another layer of shaving cream on top and do this over and over again. This time I'm gonna use a regular sheet of computer paper instead of something as thick as board. You can try whatever you like though. You could even do it on like a paper plate or something like that. And I'm only gonna use one color this time since I've kinda got a little bit of green in the background. I'm gonna do some red. I cut out a heart shape. I'm gonna push it down. And then I'm actually gonna lay this one down. How fun was that? Aren't they beautiful? They're so easy to make too, aren't they? They really only take like five minutes. And they smell like shaving cream too. Once you let it dry completely, you won't smell that anymore though. Once it's dry, you can draw on top of it, you can write on top of it. How cool of a card would this make for somebody? So, I hope you give it a try. I hope you have fun. You can try using different paints, you can try using different techniques and colors. You could even use a fork instead of a toothpick. Um, have fun. Go for it. I can't wait to see what you do. I miss you. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.